Okay, so we're working on pronation and supination in an elbow valgus position, okay? So in this case, uh, our first uh, step or phase is going to be setting up the posturing and tensioning this medial elbow complex. And so we've gone into hip, or excuse me, shoulder internal rotation with the orange dowel locking us there. And then with our second dowel, we are essentially forcing either pronation or supination around the forearm. Okay. And so to increase tension at the medial elbow, we're going to take that dowel and we're going to move more into supination by pulling the, yeah, uh, no, other direction. That's going to tension into supination, meaning more of the palm facing you. Excellent. Once you're at your end range, you'd sustain it for your 30 seconds up to a minute. From there, you're going to go into some muscle contractions. So you're going to, without rotating the torso at all, you're going to hold strong with your left arm as you try and pivot or rotate around that axis. Essentially, you're trying to rotate like that into what would be pronation and you're trying to get the force concentration to be at the area of insult or injury, making sure that we're not exceeding the tissue's capacity, that we're, thus we would promote further insult, swelling, pain, et cetera, but such that we're actually facilitating the healing process by putting mechanical tension where it needs to be most. Phase three, or the rail, would be actively going more into supination. So now you're rotating the dowel closer to your chin or to your face. Nice job. And you do that for 30 seconds and it's a sustained effort. And that would be exercise one for the pronation and supination in an, in an elbow valgus or stress position, focusing on the medial elbow complex.